I don't understand why we say some of our ladies this time around, once their marriage don't fail, now that time they go contact turn to motivational speaker or relationship therapist. Basket man wife or should I say ex wife is about to collect work from blessing CEO. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another video with Obidia Talk Show. How are you all doing? I greet you all according to your time and location. Compliment of the season. My people, today Tori, he consigned basket mouth. Why? Because right now, she don't turn motivational speaker. Before we go dive into the video, make a fair play the video, make her listen to her, then I will be right back. I feel like it's only in this part of the world that people make a big fuss about a woman not being married at a certain age like you hear questions like auntie why you never marry her is she going to marry herself some even go as far as suggesting that ah, auntie she said you know go go born one ah how do you ask people such questions you need to understand that if a woman is not married it's because she's probably taking her time or she hasn't met the right person because you do not want to rush into this institution called marriage in the name of wanting to get married on time and end up rushing out because it's tough marriage can be tough as beautiful as it is it is hard work yeah so if a woman decides that she's not ready yet you need to let her be stop with the derogatory remarks on why she's not married because it is really unfair it's actually unfair yeah, I just got here. Yes, guys. When I don't see that video from the beginning, this lady won't have just watch so. Now, wife to basket mat Nigeria commander, or should I say, s wife? Because we all remember, say, few weeks now, few weeks ago, the husband or s husband announced that they are getting divorced that everybody should respect their privacy they have decided to go their separate ways this is 12 years of marriage coming to an end marriage that produced either two or three kids you know so right now you see that video that she just uh, made you know is she telling us that she was forced into marriage 12 years ago is that what she's trying to explain to us that she was forced into marriage anyway let us analyze this video that she said that people that you know you will see some people trying to force other people to settle down she said that people should take their time that uh, is not everybody that want to rush into marriage that marriage is not an easy thing yeah we agree with all that yeah is right in one way or the other, she is right. But she also forgot that we are an Africa, even though that this generation, we are just claiming to be that this is 21st century, we want to behave completely like the Westerner. But we are not Westerner, we are still Africa, where we care about our brothers, our sisters, our friends. Forget the fact that today there is no more love. People even pretend to love you where rice is not. You understand? In olden days, you will see family. When their brother refused to marry, they will go and marry for their brother. Because they know it's the right thing to do. Since he refused to do it, they will do it. You understand? For the brothers. But today, everybody just wants to live their life the way they feel like the way they want they don't even want mother or father to disturb them about anything at all until they are ready they don't want anybody to bother them not to talk of you friend you understand to come and force another friend but still it's still part of force that we should do it when you love a friend you will tell that friend babe ah, age don't they go make you do make you settle down now you understand? A person will love you. Now I go tell you that kind of thing. My daughter, go settle down. All your mates don't marry. They don't get grandchildren finished. Now mama will love you because now what did she do? That is why you they exist. That is why she they tell you the same thing. It don't reach, make you born. 
You understand? It don't reach make you marry. Now mama will love you. Because she born you, that is why you they exist. Now your sister will love you. Now I go still tell you, my sister, time don't they go, age not they your side. Do make you settle down. But this generation, they see it as disturbance, interference, you know, uh, gossip, you know, putting mouth in what does it concern you. That is how they see it. But in olden days, you know they like that. Now love, you understand? So right now with what is she she that video where she jumped me is telling us that maybe probably she was forced to marry her husband or her ex-husband basket mat 12 years ago. <laughs> oh but it is surprise say <laughs> after their marriage don't fail, you know, you'll come to hear some kind thing from this our you know our brothers and sister. It's so funny somehow. Anyway, my you see, as some of them, they walk out of marriage. They come, they tell us, say, marriage, no, not be as it be, you know, they difficult, you know, they sweet, they this way, no, they. And we say, as they come out from the marriage, say, they know even they enter another relationship. It goes still good. Say, they know they rush, enter another man hand, another woman hand. It go good. But no, as that they come out from one marriage, they go, they enter. Even single person go still, they look for man. They don't say another man. I go just, they wonder. When I say marriage, no good. When I work out, come on. When I say man, no good. Woman, no good. But still, na still the same marriage. When I still, they look for. This life, eh? They really, they talk, say, no balance. It's not really balance. Oh. You see this woman and the husband. In less than one year, now, you go, they hear. Say, the woman. You don't they plan to enter another marriage with another man. The same thing go to the us the ex husband basket match. In less than one year now, we go they see all of them in another relationship. So the thing will make me come they ask who is now the perfect man or the perfect woman that they, they are looking for? Is there any perfect human being? There is no anywhere at all. Now wow. And we also agree that marriage not be a bed of roses, you know. It get ups and down. That one are true. And what me I don't observe for this generation, marriage of today, is that we women, we are not ready to tolerate any man that cheat on us. That is the most thing I'm seeing that is breaking marriage right now. Back in the days, our mothers, they understood it that cheating is part of men. You understand? Uh, a man taking more than one wife is part of them. Our mothers, they accept all that. But this generation women, they are not ready to accept polygamy. They are not ready to accept cheating husband. Even though today, 80% of women are even worse than the so-called men where they cheat on us. Yes, today marriage. A lot of married women, they cheat on their husband today. A lot. A lot of them. A lot of them cheat on their husband. It's really, really so sad, you know, the way marriage, what marriage has become today, just because of impatience, you know, lack of tolerance, understanding, you know. It's really, really a pity. Our mother, back in the day, they consider first the feeling of their children. That is what makes them to endure most things in marriage. Number one, they put their children first. This generation, we put ourselves first before the children because we believe that whatever decision we take, once the children grow up, they will understand. They will know. We don't care about their feeling. We care about our own personal feeling. A daughter that ah, do make you marry all your mates. Don't burn. Marry, settle down. Burn picking. Are you also thinking that is wrong thing to do? So we we'll go like to hear on our opinion. You understand, my people. Leave it at the comment section. Share this video and your view, guys. Is right. Is very very important. And your view.
and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed also share the video guys god bless you i will see you soon in another video bye bye